corny and I'm too, too old to believe in that kind of stuff. But it was like, it was love at first sight, love at first sight for me. Then I didn't see her, I didn't know who, and I didn't know who she was either. So, um, then I didn't see her and I was driving along with a, another lady from Korea. Mm -hmm. Her name Lee, and I said, look at that, she was walking up this way. <laughs> he goes, oh, that's Lisa. Right, I, then I told him the story. Sure, it's like the most Fremantle like love story in so many different ways. <laughs> yeah. like you've always like been on the periphery of each other's social yeah. circle, yeah. and like the music and the people just on the street know yeah. who each other are. Yeah. yeah, we've also worked out that we've lived near each other many times, or he's followed me, or I followed him into suburbs just after he's moved out of them. Oh, really? So, yeah. yeah. And, okay, and almost, yeah, we've shared so, that. I was going to say, there has to be some sort of overlap. Yeah. There. It's weird, yeah. And, um, yeah. and our friend our friend group is almost identical, you know, like we both know so many of the same people. Yeah. And yet hadn't met each other. And we did actually end up meeting when we were put on a bill together. Mm. And that's when I just flipped. I thought it was just gorgeous. <laughs> and sure. he, Yeah, and he... Um, he was playing with his guitarist Gary and doing a trio thing, I think, in the gas yard, one of you. And um, I just fell in love with his storytelling and his voice, of course, you know, mm -hmm. singing. Just the whole delivery, just, I just sat there going, oh, this guy's just so gorgeous. But one of the things he'd said during his uh, storytelling was that Gary and he had were best of mates and that they laughed together and cried together and shared all their stories together and their children had grown up together and at the end of the night, because I played next after he finished and I got on stage and I'm like, thanks a lot for putting me on after that, you know, because <laughs> I really loved his act. Yeah. And then um, it turned into a really fun night, didn't it, yeah. you know, because it was a really small venue and the audience could see you and you could see them and, I mean, normally you can't see the audience very well at all. And you could actually hear them, so it was a lot of interaction going on. He was giving me cheek from the audience, and it got—it was really a fun night all round. And then at the end of the night, he's chatting away with me, saying, "Oh, yeah, I'd like to go and collaborate, doing all this and I'm like, oh, yeah. I'd like to and, go on a date. Yeah, and my daughter. <laughs> and, well, my my daughter was I, she she was with me, and I I said, "Come, we got to go now." And at the end of the night, she goes, "No, no, no, why?" She goes, "Because he likes you." Rock and roll uniforms. Okay. What's a rock and roll uniform? Oh, I thought I had them one. <laughs> black jeans and black t-shirt pretty much. Okay. No, I don't I like to cowboy shirts, so okay. I wear them now. Though. And that's something that you've done like forever or has, yeah. has your style developed? Uh for the better I'd say, yeah. Yeah. I went through a you couldn't help it though. Okay. I went through a, a forced glam rock period in the 70s. We just got caught up into the fashion of it. Yeah. And I got seriously carried away, I have to say. Were you like platform boots, Wayne? Oh, yeah. Oh, platform. I had yeah. I went to a doll office and I had these red shoes with straps, bright red, and a jumpsuit. There's no photos <laughs> yeah. about it. Oh. No, no. I'll, I'll, somebody will have something to bring them back oh, one day. Good. Well, I think Musos has really learned to roll with the punches, you know, because sure. it is that kind of a lifestyle, you know. And it's def you definitely get given with one hand and taken away with the other quite regularly, you mm. know. So um, we're made of tough stuff. And what about now that we can start doing stuff again? Well, everyone's excited again, you know. And I think, you know, I think it's. I said it right at the beginning of this pandemic, this good will come of this. Sure. And I absolutely see it now, you know, for the idiot Trump, but you know, if you... the thing that's happening is that people are becoming totally consciousness aware, you know, where sexism is really being looked at in the eye, racism is being squared off, you know, all of this stuff that we knew was around and very bothersome is really being dealt with now. And I love it. I'm so excited about that bit. Earlier, I chucked a chook in because I just thought, well, sure, Protein. maybe a chook won't go astray. So I'm roasting what is Wayne's favourite chicken. Okay. Recipe. And um, and I've got a frittata in there that you were watching me throw together while yep. we've been chatting. 
Um, and Wayne is going to make a salad. You're going to make a salad, Wayne? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs>